Holden. Uh, I've been working here along the coast of California, Central Coast of California, for 36 plus years. Started my career out as a citrus PCA and in the avocados and later expanded my business into vegetables and strawberries. Uh, about 10 years ago I, I followed my passion and started my own full-time research company and spend most of my days doing contract, third-party contract research for most of the majors and many of the minor, uh, both pest control and nutrient management companies in uh, the United States here. Uh, the basic protocol for this trial was to look at four treatment regimes. The first treatment regime was uh, an untreated check. We added no fertilizer to the 16 original almond trees that we planted into five gallon buckets. The second uh, regime called for a grower standard program of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium with some additional phosphorus in season. The third regime called for just the utilization of transit soil only with no additional fertilizer, just the nutrients that were already established in the potting material. The fourth regime called for the use of, of transit soil plus nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium with the additional phosphorus applications in season. We made four treatments of each of these uh, treatment uh, schedules. And they went on March 15th, April 15th, May 15th, and June 15th. We saw a significant increase, uh, statistically significant increase in overall tree size after uh, both the first year and the second year. And as of this year, we've seen 11% uh, larger trees where the transit was added to the grower standard program. Uh, what we also saw was a 30% increase in chlorophyll production uh, on the trees that received the transit along with the grower standard fertilizer program. One of the things I've seen through the use of this material in the almond trial is that the leaves on the transit treated trees along with the grower standard program are at least 126% larger than those on the untreated program. A larger leaf means more chlorophyll means uh, higher production of carbohydrates, means better root growth. The initial growth of the trees was statistically significant in 2011, and it has been repeated again in 2012. And we're seeing statistically significant increases in plant growth and establishment with the use of transit plus the grower standard programs over the grower standard fertilizer program. Based on this initial data, I would say that these trees have been established uh, quicker in the field and I would expect uh, production quicker uh, in second, third leaf on these almonds. This trial has also been somewhat replicated in my own personal avocado orchard and I'm seeing a significant earlier production for my trees. My trees are in the third year and I'm expecting to have a significant yield on the, on the trees that were treated with this program. Based on this research and other research that I've, I've uh, conducted with transit, I would recommend it to almond growers. Uh, not only do I do independent third-party research for multiple companies, but I also consult on over 10,000 acres of avocados and citrus and strawberries in Ventura County that I recommend to my customers. In my 30 years of doing this research, I've seen some pretty significant products come along. Um, Transit is one of those products that really got my attention, and uh, it still has my attention. 